so yeah I got I, I do have my old headset on because it's hard to get my voice on the 3ds without having to um be like this close to the microphone which the microphone's like right here so I would have to get this close to be like heard so I'm using this um headset and yeah that, that's that's my desk I, I have discord open so yeah um and I do have a better microphone so this might sound kind of terrible so yeah I have a new airsoft gun in my collection which is the P90 it P90 uh dang it P90 stands for uh Project 90 it was made by FN Herstal and this one this this airsoft gun is licensed licensed by FN Herstal. You can't really see it there, but I'm not gonna move right now. And is like this is licensed by FN Herstal, even though this is an airsoft gun. So it can airsoft guns can be licensed licensed by their by the gun's original sort of um I, I don't know sort of manufacturer. And, yeah, so, this airsoft gun is an AEG, so it's electric, and the, the battery resides in the stock. To get to the battery, you would have to remove the butt plate, but, and, um, yeah, and then you, if you want to recharge the battery, you plug it into the wall and yeah so you have the magazine first I can I guess I can do the magazine the magazine has what looks like bullets in it but they're just fake you can't get the bullets in, out of there they're unless you were to like take it apart and you have um, you would put the BBs in this in this right here and it sort of goes in this sort of loop kinda goes like in this sort of circle then it goes all the way back down you can kinda see part of it right here where it kinda goes in this loop it goes here here and then goes back down it can hold approximately 68 BBs and as you can see, this bullet is slightly rotated, and that's supposed to be like that because the real version does have this mechanism that rotates the the rounds because the bullets aren't going to shoot out the side of the gun. They're going to shoot out the forward of it, so the real version, it has to have these this sort of mechanism that rotates the, the rounds. Then, the gun... You have this this bolt right here. It doesn't do anything. It's just kind of there, just so it's kind of a bit more realistic. And then you have um, you have the bolt. It doesn't do anything. Um, selector switch. You have safety. Hold on. So that's safety. You can't really see it. Safety, semi-automatic, then automatic. It seems as if every different um, selector like safety locks the trigger in one certain position um, semi-automatic seems to not allow it to go past this point and then automatic allows to, it to go all the way so there's probably some sort of mechanism that if you pull it a certain amount it'll do semi-automatic and if you pull it all the way it does automatic so I don't know um, orange tip cannot be removed high quality ones can be removed if they're more high quality and because they put on they have to put on the orange tip for shipping because it's illegal if you don't and so trigger like that um, stock has a um, 
a warning patch on it, a warning sticker. Um, it does have the FN Herstal logo. You can't see it in, in it, uh, below it. It says licensed by FN Herstal. Can't see it. The magazine release. You have to press on b both of these buttons, lift up the magazine, and pull it out. Then you have the magazine. To put it back in, you just slide it back in there and press down to lock it into place. And yeah, you you do have one rail. On top of the rail are iron sights. You can kind of see the front iron sight and the back iron sight right there and there. So yeah, um, you kind of have this hand guard looking thing. I don't I, I don't know what that's for. I guess it's supposed to keep your hand in place so you don't accidentally slide off. I have no idea. So yeah, it does have kind of it does have a thumb hole stock and you yeah, and the front grip you kind of hold it like this or you can just hold it like this. So, yeah, I like to hold it with my thumb through it just because it's a bit more comfortable. And I guess that's about it. This this is spring loaded. The the bolt is spring loaded, so it is kind of realistic. But it's it doesn't have a function. It just it's just kind of there for kind of the realism. And sling mount up here, sling mount down here. And I think that is it. Yep. Um so meh. Future me here, and I forgot to talk about this, which is a speed loader. It is included with the P90. One thing, when you have it locked, the button locked, I'm not even looking at the camera, whatever. If you have the button locked, it kind of looks like what looks like a pistol magazine and yeah then you to unlock it you just press the other side of the button like this so then if you wanna load babies into it you open up the compartment like that you load the babies into it close the compartment and you would load it into the magazine by pressing this and then BBs would pop out, but I don't have it loaded. So, yeah. It, and it does have an indicator. You can't see it. These dots, you can kind of see it. That indicate how full it is. Kind of like a magazine. So, and it's also, like, kind of transparent. So you can see the BBs. So, yeah, that's... That's what future me wanted to say. Bye.